my evil demons to torture me while I'm sleeping. I keep dreaming of death and I'm hearing people screaming. The devil's spirit is trapped inside me and I want it out. I'm on a couch, bleeding to death in a haunted house. With both of my wrists slit, I'm lifted up in the air. It's suspended in animation like someone's holding me there. I feel somebody's cold hands wrapped. Yo, what is up, you guys? My name is Marcellus, and today I'm going to bring you a Hunter Hunter episode 141 review. Um, basically, this episode revolved around the interaction between Killua and his butlers and his older brother with the appearances of Hisoka. I wouldn't say Hisoka uh, dominated the episode, but towards the end, you really see uh, the relationship between him and Illumin. So, um, in the earlier part of the episode, I say the first 10 minutes the whole thing that was going on was you know them saying that they had to redo the election for the 13th chairman and now that leorio punched the shit out of gang uh he's in third place i believe and gang is in last place and they mentioned that those are pity votes pretty much so you know he really doesn't care about the election as you can tell but uh after that was over you really see that um illumi wants aluka dead like He'll do anything to kill her or him or whatever the thing is because uh, he really thinks that it's a threat. And at first, Killua believes that it's only a Lumi that wants to kill her and that uh, his father and his grandfather and his mother want to contain her because she is too powerful. They want to keep her close. And with uh, the butlers, they want to help her. And Killua just, you know, basically wants to love her and set her free. But uh, he later on finds out that all of the Zodi Zodics, or whatever you want to call them, uh, they want her dead. And so he has a flashback of what his dad said about, you know, that thing is not a part of the family. And one of the strongest and most, you know, abided commandments in the family is that no family member can go after another family member. And he, that's when he has a flashback about his father calling Luca that thing. So after that, you know, he gets really pissed and he basically tells Illumi to bring it on, which causes a chain of events of uh, crazy situations. I don't remember the manga having um, such detailed car accidents that were shown in this episode. I remember that the truck tried to run the car off the road, but in this episode, you know, there was multiple cars there was the limo driving up the hill there was the uh the semi with the you know the, basically the supporting rods on the back that pierced the vehicle i did not remember that in the manga but the anime did a good job with it it was adding more uh dramatic effects with it so after the car you know basically crashed and all of them survived uh fucking unbelievably uh they landed and killer basically took the fuck off he used Godspeed and he just left the butlers. And while he was leaving, the pinnacle of this episode for me was when Hisoka and uh, Illumi were on top of the hill. And Hisoka is basically given the task of going to take care of the butlers, uh, which I'll get to that later. But he asked Illumi, can he kill Killua? And I thought that was funny because Illum I believe that Hisoka... No, Illumi asked Hisoka the same thing during the Hunter exams, and he gave the same reaction that Illumi did in this episode. Their bloodlust was just out of control, you know. And Hisoka didn't flinch, because I believe Hisoka is stronger than Illumi. Like, we haven't given, we haven't been given any proof of this, but I believe Hisoka is, like, some, one of the strongest characters in the series. But, you know, he didn't flinch at Illumi, and nothing pretty much happened. So, he was just saying, you know, I was kidding, and he wants Gon to live, so he kind of made that bloodlust be brought out by force, and that gave Killua the location of his older brother, and that's when he took the fuck off with uh, Luca, and that was pretty much the end of the episode, except for the part where Hisoka is given, you know, he was given the task to take care of the butlers, and he comes down the hill, and he's getting ready to fight with uh, Goto, or whatever the fuck his name is, but the funny thing is that at the end of the episode, uh, it says, you know, Hisoka and Goto are getting ready to engage in battle. And all Goto can do is fucking fire those coins while Hisoka is like one of the strongest characters in the series. And I've read the manga, so I can tell you right now, this is not going to be much of a battle. Um, the other two butlers, the black girl and I don't know what the fuck her name is, is given the task of following Killua while 
the Sue Bone or whatever her name is, uh, is like tracking him. So that was episode 141 of Hunter Hunter in a nutshell. Comment below what you thought about the episode. Subscribe for more and do not forget to like the video. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.